Well, the University of Georgia Extension Service offices, they work closely with our farmers and those in the ag industry, but they also give back to the community with free programs that educate and empower the public in general. One example is the Bibb County Extension Office's current volunteer income tax assistance program, as we learn about tonight on the farm. If you're a bit uncertain about filing your taxes and you're a Bibb County resident, you may be able to get help at the Bibb County Extension Office. Bibb County Extension is offering volunteer income tax assistance, and we call it VITA, and it's a free tax preparation and filing program for Bibb County residents. We would love for other residents, but it's specifically here in Bibb County. The program offers free tax prep and filing for some Bibb County residents. We are experts at filing individual and joint taxes. Now, there are some stipulations in case some cases where we won't be able to file for you, and those stipulations include the military, if you have a business, and if you make more than $79,000 as an individual. Kishan Thomas explains the perfect candidates for the VITA program. We specialize in assisting first-time filers. We call people first-time filers. If this is the first time that they've had to file in a while, a lot of my younger adults and also some of our seniors who hadn't had to file, um, historically hadn't had to file. Also, unfortunately, we have several clients that are widows, so this is their first time, probably sometimes in some cases, handling the financial aspects of the relationship. Participation requires appointments, and don't forget all the necessary paperwork. So that includes W-2s. We're specifically looking for uh, uh, proof of health care insurance. Say, for instance, you have health care through the marketplace, then you would have received what they call a 1095 form, indicating that you had health insurance for those 12 months. For parents that have children in higher education, make sure that you get your child's what they call a 1098T. That form indicates how much you how much you contributed to your child's education. It's also a credit for you. Thomas urges you, regardless of where you file, not to put off getting your taxes done. And whether you do them yourself or use a tax preparation service, be sure you're up to date on tax law changes. There have been numerous changes the past two or three years to tax laws. Um, there's a difference between itemizing and standard deduction. A lot of people like to go the itemized route. That's kind of the older model. The standard deduction has increased exponentially over the past couple of years, so it may be more beneficial to take the standard deduction. I encourage people, if they're doing taxes on their own, to make sure that you do them both ways to see which way you can optimize uh, your tax benefit for yourself. Now, if you want to make an appointment, contact the Bibb County Extension Office. You can also email Kishan Thomas directly. We'll also have this information posted online with this week's On the Farm segment. There you'll also find an extended conversation with Kishan on tax tips.